because we want to see beautiful movies. My name is Lydia, I'm a film director and I work with ethical pornography. I was living in Rome, I was working already as a film director and I met other female film directors and artists uh, who felt the, um, the urgency to talk about sexuality and pornography from a different point of view. So I got involved with this collective called Re Ragazze del Porno, Girls of Porn. Uh, we started a crowdfunding campaign, we produced short films and from then uh, I didn't stop. Working with sensitive content, sexuality, um, of course brings up in my job uh, the issue of censorship all the time. It's not just about nipples on Instagram, even if social media is becoming a very slippery territory because we are basically not free to uh, uh, deliver our content. So this is a problem which crosses, of course, uh, um, uh, pornography, sensitive content, but also activism and art in general. This is the reason why three years ago, with a small team here in London, we created a festival called Uncensor uh, that was focusing on the uh, upcoming uh, uh, horrible news in terms of legislation in the UK. So we were trying to give all together as a community a response and to find new ways, creative ways to fight censorship, but the path is still, still long. When we say that we want a better porn, we should also pay for porn. So of course, I have a producer, I have a platform where I show my movies. So if you will find one of my movies on Pornhub, probably it's because it's been stolen. So I will pretend not to see it. I'm part of this new scene. Let's see, we can call it alternative pornography, feminist porn or simply adult cinema. Um, so we know uh, it's, it's a different environment from the, the main industry, from the traditional pornography. So I can talk from my, for, for my community and what I'm seeing uh, in the last years is so many new approaches to pornography, which means not just unapologetic content or content from a different point of view, from different perspective, but it also means going back to cinematic values, uh, uh, finding new way to um, deal with the pornographic language. So I would say that porn is opening up to queer gays, uh, alternative gazes, alternative experience uh, um, and that's good because sexuality is part of our life. I think all of us, mostly all of us, we consume pornography. So it's, it's very inspiring and reassuring to see there are new people trying to put their hands uh, in these dirty socks. As any other uh, cinematic production, uh, we choose our actor thinking about uh, what the story requires and the characters, of course. Uh, so it's all about the profile of the character. Uh, we are not tied to the, to the rules of the um, mainstream uh, industry, so uh, uh, it's not about uh, uh, the appearance uh, of the skills you can have when it comes to a sex scene. Um, we try, of course, also because we want to make something different from traditional pornography, to uh, keep a variety in terms of ages, uh, body types. Uh, we think this is uh, uh, an ethical approach also to pornography. Uh, but yeah, it's all about the story, because our stories uh, and our movies have beautiful location, beautiful cinematography, so yeah, it works as any other production going back to strong cinematic values. What's made porn ethical? Um, I would say strong cinematic values. We want to make and see beautiful movies, um, different body types and ages, um, 
female pleasures mothers, all pleasures mothers, not just male pleasure, uh, and uh, yeah, ethical approach to production, which means consent, boundaries, all this conversation between the, the performers and the director uh, on all the people involved on set.